On the day that Jesus rose from the dead, two of Jesus' disciples were walking to a village called Emmaus. The two disciples were talking about everything that had happened. As they talked, Jesus came and began to walk with them, but the disciples did not recognize him. Jesus asked the disciples, what are you talking about? The disciples stopped walking. They looked sad. One of the disciples, Cleopas, answered, are you the only one in Jerusalem who hasn't heard what happened? What happened, Jesus asked. So they told him, Jesus of Nazareth was a prophet. He was powerful when he acted and spoke before God and all the people. The religious leaders handed Jesus over to be sentenced to death and they nailed him to a cross. We had hoped he was the one who would set Israel free. Besides, it's the third day since these things happened. Early this morning, some women went to the tomb and did not find Jesus' body. They saw angels who said that Jesus is alive. Some of our friends went to the tomb and they too saw that the tomb was empty. Jesus said, you are foolish to not believe what the prophet said. Isn't this what had to happen to the Messiah? Then, beginning with Moses and the prophets, Jesus explained to them what all the scriptures said about him. Jesus and the two disciples arrived at Emmaus, and they asked Jesus to stay with them. So Jesus joined them at the dinner table. He took the bread, thanked God for it, and broke it into pieces. Then he gave the pieces to the disciples. Right away, the men recognized Jesus, but Jesus immediately disappeared from their sight. The two disciples thought about their walk to Emmaus. They said, when Jesus talked to us on the road and explained the scriptures, didn't our hearts feel like they were on fire? The disciples immediately left Emmaus and went back to Jerusalem. They found Jesus' 11 disciples and others who gathered with them. They told them what had happened. They said, Simon saw Jesus too. Jesus is alive. The whole Bible is about Jesus. When Adam and Eve sinned, God began working out his plan to send Jesus to rescue people from sin. All of the Old Testament points forward to Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. The time when Jesus would bring God's promised salvation for sinners.